So, obviously my background is not the same. And I got an actual camera, um, so my videos are gonna be a lot better this time. Instead of being, like I used to literally use my phone camera. If you can even see that, my phone camera. I used to use my phone camera for my, my videos and I was just like, I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm sorry about the big leap that I of time that I didn't make videos, but I was I started school and then yeah, you get the memo. Um, so I'm just gonna start out with moisturizer because my face is so dry. Um, I got a bunch of new stuff. Well, not a bunch, but you know. Uh, some new stuff that I'm, I've been using and I just wanted to show you what I've been doing for school and days that I go out and stuff so yeah I use this oh and by the way I'm gonna be looking to the side here kind of so that's just because um, I have a mirror here and I moved into the downstairs room so, yeah, this is going to be the new, what you're going to see in the background now. Oh. Me and my sister share this room. So. My birthday is coming up, so after my Halloween costume uh, tutorial thing that I'm going to do, after that it'll be my birthday, and I'm going to do a birthday haul. Well, I don't know which one I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a get ready with me for my birthday before, like, uh, I have school on my birthday, which really sucks. I have, I literally have PE on my birthday, and which really sucks, but whatever. Um, so I'm gonna film my morning routine for school that morning, Ugh. because it'll be my birthday. I had a plan to go to homecoming and then it didn't work out. Okay, so I'm starting out with my concealer because, okay, this concealer actually is not that fabulous. I cannot use it for my under eyes because you touch this concealer with your finger after you put it on your face, it will swipe right off. Um, it's the NYX HD concealer, mine is in the shade porcelain. I've had this forever now and it's like barely coming out. I have barely any left of this, but I have lots of acne, so still need to use it. Yeah, as you can imagine, I'm getting a lot of makeup for my birthday, so I will show you guys that, and I'm getting like a bunch of new makeup and stuff, so I'm gonna show you um, like first, Im lots of first impressions and stuff. That hurt my nose. Wow. Yeah. Let's look like idiots. Because I probably look like an idiot right now. Ah. Okay. Just use this little container brush. Blow this all in. I was really bored today, um, so I was like, why not just film a video because I have a long time. 
Even though nobody watches my videos, if you do, thank you very much. But if you don't, then that's okay. That's <laughs> like half the world that doesn't, though. So, but if you were waiting for me to make one, thank you. Which probably nobody is, but you know, you never know. There could be like people that watch your videos that just don't see them. So. Okay, so I've been mixing for my foundation. I've been mixing the CoverGirl Outlast Stay. Stay. Blah, 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 blah. This is a tongue twister. Stay fabulous. Three in one foundation. If you can see that, if I'm holding it right. And then I, I've been mixing that with the Revlon Color Stay foundation. Um, I accidentally got the combination oily skin one, but the Revlon Color Stay is such an expensive foundation for my liking. So. I can't get a new one until my birthday um, and I accidentally got the combination oily skin one and I need the normal to dry skin because that's what I have so as you can imagine it's difficult but yeah um, and I can't use this on its own because the Revlon color stay is so thick but it is the only foundation that I have that stays on my face longer than like an hour and doesn't look terrible on my face so. yeah mine is in the lightest shade because I'm a white person so. and then I have to really jam this on the back of my powder thing I used to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and then shattered it <laughs> because I was banging on it to get the Revlon Color Stay foundation out of the bottle one day and I was like being rushed and so I had to hurry up and I didn't have time and then I ended up shattering it so yeah that's not very good and then I just mix it with my finger because I don't, don't think you need to mix it with anything so I guess I have to use the L'Oreal True Match Powder now until I get more makeup from the rest. Let's look like crazy people. My birthday is November 5th. So. Doesn't my doesn't it look a lot better now though? Like so much more brighter for the because I actually am using a camera and not a phone as my camera. <laughs> so it wasn't smart. Okay. Okay, and then I have to put the caps back on because if I don't put them back on right away. I will forget or I just won't do it. Which is not good. So. Yeah. But those two actually do a great mixture. So if you have like a normal skin type to where you don't want it to be like super. Okay. And then after my foundation is done, I do my under eye concealer. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. Mine is in Fair, which I believe is the lightest shade. I hope so. And I just roll it up. I got too much. So I'm just being careful. Literally need a tiny bit. Cause, but I do use a lot. Because I want my eyes to be super bright. And cover up any like weird discoloration which I don't even know if I I don't have it that bad I don't think right but I still use a lot my eyes are dark so
I love this stuff. It works so good. Cool. Eyelash just come off. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so I don't jump right onto powder right after my foundation because my skin is very dry. Um, if I do that, it will really, really, really be bad. So I can't do that. I go, I'm going to go onto my bronzer. There's the NYC School Skin Bronzer. And my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And that flat top brush that I was using is actually a cheap two brush, two dollar brush um, from eBay, literally. And it's so good. And I use too much, so. <laughs> I have to blend really well because I can only put too much. Okay. Stop it. Shit. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's not too bad. Sometimes I'll get it on the brush and it won't be enough. And then sometimes I'll get it on the brush and it will be too much. So. It's like, what the heck? And then I drip onto my blush. Yes, I actually got blush. Um, I got the LA Colors blush. Just says pink blush. Literally got this at the at Dollar Tree. It's actually not that bad. And I'm using a Target little blush brush. I'm getting more brushes for my birthday, so, like face brushes, so, yeah. It's a very light blush, and it's kind of hard to get a lot of product out of it, which is actually a good thing for me, because otherwise I use too much. So, yeah. And then I take my foundation brush and I blend this out a lot more. This blush is so pretty and so natural. I'm not even kidding. It looks so good. I was super impressed. I just got it because I haven't had a, I've never gotten blush before, so I needed a, I wanted to get some blush, and so I, and I had like three dollars, so, yeah, I had three dollars, so I got some things, and I actually got an eyelash curler, but I haven't used it yet, because I'm kind of scared to, I don't want to pull my eyelashes off, it's not very great. Okay, and then I will set my face. The L'Oreal True Match Powder. Um, mine looks very weird, I know. Um, hang on. Okay. Mine looks very weird, I know. And that is because I had to... Um, all of a sudden, after not using it for a little while, it's got darker as can you see that like there's like parts it got dark and like those dark parts if i try taking product off of it it doesn't come off um i don't know what that's from because i don't think makeup has expiration dates but i don't know um but it just looks really weird and i don't know why it's doing that 
but it, so I literally just took like a pick thing, like a Q-tip, not a Q-tip, a, what are those things called? The little teeth pick things, and I literally just scraped all the, that stuff off, <laughs> and so now it looks really weird, but I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm using the Real Techniques powder brush with hair all over it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, and I just take some my brush and I like touch my face like where I have stickiness which is basically all over my face because this these foundations like some foundations like you would say wait for a little while and then it like like sets and it's not sticky anymore my all my foundations I've tried don't do that so I have to powder them otherwise they feel super sticky so I just touch spots on my face that are sticky and I powder those Powder smells weird. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this powder. This powder, like, is really weird. Like, it started out, like, tell me, if you use the L'Oreal True Match, like, full set thing, has that ever happened to you? And give me an explanation why that could happen. It's weird. Like, I'm confused. Like, this powder literally used to smell, like, super great. And, like, used to, like, be... I used to love it. Love the smell. And then it got all dark looking. And, like, the powder wasn't working anymore. And then I had to scrape all... And then after I scraped all that dark stuff off, it smelled like normal powder all of a sudden. So I don't know what's going on with it. But... Okay, and then before I forget, because I forgot this a lot, I set my under eyes with that con the, with that brush I used for concealer. I know it's not very great to use the same brush they use for concealer for powder, but it's all I got. I'm gonna set my under eyes, and then I put it at the top as well. So after my powder, I go on to my eyeballs and I use the Essence Eyeliner Pen, yeah, it's just the black one, just eyeliner pen, regular eyeliner pen, and I'm just going to line my eyes I start at the end and go into <coughs> the corners I take the very tip and kind of try to get the corner without bothering my eye too much.
dress like that. Oops. And then I mess up everything. Done. I don't do wings because I've never, like, I've never really tried. But every time that I've, like, wanted to do one or, like, possibly tried to do one, I messed it up, so, you know. Okay, and then I do my mascara, and I use the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara first. Um, the, like, applicator thing is really nice. So I just start using this, first of all. I put it on my all both my lashes. Sometimes um, I will just use this because um, it works okay. And then sometimes if I feel like it, I'll use the other mascaras that I have. Speaking of other mascaras, I'm taking the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Mine is all like messed up and dirty on the, what is it called? I don't know. Um, and I just put this on my lashes. And then I take my Beauty, ben Beauty Benefits Volumizing Mask. Not like a great mascara. This isn't. Um, so I like lightly blink it on. But it does. Make them look very pretty. So, like, it makes them a lot longer because there's a lot of product in this. I'm going to run through my eyebrows real quick. I already finished my mascara and everything. Um, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Stylist Set. And mine is in blonde. And it comes with a little brush, which is very nice and very cute. So I don't have brushes to use. So I just mix the two colors. I start out... I don't know how to do this. I take the light color and then the dark color. And then I just fill in my brows.
and then I run through them. Oops. And then I run through them with my little mascara wand. And then <laughs> I just realized that I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. So I'm using the Maybelline Rocket Volume because the others bleed onto my lash line. But I'm using this and just doing my bottom lashes. I've had this for so long that it doesn't have the greatest, um, it doesn't have a lot in it anymore, so it's hard to get product out. It takes a while, because I need a new one. I know my hair is all messy, I'm sorry. I haven't brushed it yet. Okay. So, that finishes off my everyday makeup routine. I don't do anything for my lips because um, my lips are very dry all the time. It's kind of funny. My skin's dry and my lips are both. My skin's dry and my lips are dry because I can't put anything on them. Plus, I don't really like having anything on them because I lick my lips a lot. And if and if I'm not allowed to lick my lips for like the whole day, I go insane. I don't know why. It's like I just don't like having anything because it, I feel it on my lips, like all the mas mascaras, <laughs> all the lipsticks I've used just feels really weird so this video is way too long but um yeah that finishes this off uh, sorry if I'm talking weird all of a sudden my throat's being weird um this has been what I've been doing for my everyday makeup routine so I hope you guys enjoy um this is going to change by my birthday like everything well, not everything. A couple of things are going to stay the same. But there's going to be some things that I am going to change up. So I will do a new one after that. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you. Thank you for watching.